the difference between a pitch a pitch and a chip to you is. I know it's different to everybody. All right, okay, put it this way. It's basically sort of on the short game. Yeah. You go, uh, putt, chip and run, Yeah. chip, Yeah. pitch. Okay. And then lob shot, I suppose, is the one in, yeah. in, in with it. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got your bunker shot, which is mm -hmm. a different part of the game altogether, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but the uh, we've gone from a pitch, we'll now go to a chip shot. Okay. All right. So we're moving down towards near the green. These greens are so hard to hit. They're tiny, aren't they? They are tiny, and they're hard, and yep. yeah. Okay. You're watching The Swingdom. All right. Basically, what you will find from any one of these shots, mm -hmm. be it a chip and run, yeah. chip shot and a pitch, mm -hmm. the general setup is pretty much the same. Okay. As the shot increases distance wise, generally speaking, the stance just gets that little bit wider. Okay. All right. Um, but for the chip and run and chip shot, I generally speaking say that you're about a club head apart, which we'll talk with in a second. And when you're back over there, which is your about 70 yard shot, then we're probably two club heads apart in okay. relation to the width of the stance. Yeah. Just to create that little bit of stability because you're creating that little bit more force. Yeah. As if you're too narrow, you probably end up finding that you're gonna be yeah. a little unbalanced. Right. Um, what I will say is that when we play any chip shot, mm -hmm. chip and run shot, pitch shot, yeah. there is no right or wrong golf club to use. It's what you feel comfortable with, but you have to work on that sort of distance control with the clubs that you're basically using. Yeah. Um, so it's just knowing that the more loft you have, the more effort you're having to put in, mm -hmm. which in turn then creates more room for error, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it does look pretty when it pops up in the air and lands in, you know, within a, an inch of the hole. Pulls back a little bit. Absolutely, but we, yeah. you know, it's, it's totally. So it's just really a key of trying to work out what's what's in front of us, what we have to clear, yeah. and uh, you know, trying to um, get the ball as close as we can. Also, um, which when we got on the golf course another time, yeah. when we play an approach shot mm -hmm. to a green, be it a chip, pitch, whatever it is, yeah. don't necessarily always be direct at the golf hole. Okay because it's not necessarily mean, because you've got to work out the bounces, the undulation, the slopes, haven't you, and so yeah. on. So you've got to work out um, how the ball is going to work towards the hole, yeah. not just straight out it, because you go straight out with a slope going that way, and then it's going to end up down over there, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. And you're scratching your noggin and thinking, oh, why did that happen? And you start, you know, <laughs> what, yeah. what do most people do when they hit a bad shot? <sighs> they always look at the bottom of the golf club. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. I what, try what, not to. Why do we look at the bottom of the golf club? Because you're hoping that it's a different number than it is. <laughs> usually what I'm doing, Oh, I hit the 60. I probably should have looked for something else. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's like they went for an answer at the bottom. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, I, so like we said just now, I've got a 54 and a 58. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got a 60 and a 56. Okay, so it's fairly similar, isn't it? Yeah. I've got okay, that. so I'm a 54 is my sandwich. traditional, less traditional. We get that. We understand. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's all personal. But if you notice at the bottom of each golf club, um, mine's got 54 degrees and 10 degrees bounce, mm -hmm. and 58 and 6 degrees of bounce. Yeah, so I've got 60 with 12 degrees of bounce. Massive amount. Is that, is that a lot of bounce? Loads of bounce, yeah. Good. Not great for sort of tight lies. Even better. Great for out of the rough and out of bunkers, awesome. Okay, and then I've got a 56 with 10. Which is also quite a lot, which is more yeah. towards the bounce. So it's, 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 see, both of those are really headed towards the, the sort of the, like? the, the bunker shot. So with a lot of bounce. Too close, just point it at my face. That's basically what's happening. If, that's, your 54. that's my 54, which is 10, 10, 10 degrees. So the back edge is higher than the front edge. All right. So basically, yeah. So if you get the the, the back edge here, it's going to be higher than the front edge. Yeah. So when you place the club onto the ground, look, the front edge is going to be way off the ground, isn't it? Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. So for you then to create that club in the correct position, the shaft lean is quite exceptional, isn't it? Yeah. All right, which is what you want to a degree when you're striking a golf shot. Mm -hmm. But when you go to play little chip shots towards the green, most people tend to sort of scoop the golf ball. So what ends up happening is that the bounce tends the to back of the bounce and thin. Right. So yeah. Oh yeah. Or hit it fat, isn't it? Yeah. So as the club comes to impact, the shaft lean is slightly back on the golf ball. So the the leading edge is going to hit it slightly on the upward movement. Yeah. And therefore, that's hitting it first. If it doesn't quite hit the ground, as you say, it's going to thin it. Yeah. You know, flying. 
or the ball's going to go a few inches in front of you. Yeah. Unless, of course, you've got the ball tucked up on a bit of grass. Yeah. Okay. So, chip shots. Again, this is what I was talking about just now, about the misunderstanding of about um, how people sort of perceive things. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of golfers, they tend to stand very square, very neutral, and then yeah. flick, don't they? They trust their wrists. All right, which... You could have done better. It's okay, but it hasn't gone very far. No. So of course, that is a proof of the pudding. It doesn't go very far, so what they're gonna to have to do is then hit it harder, and of course then... Then you don't use any bounce at all. Oh, it's just thin, doesn't it? It goes yeah. blinking forever, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So again, same setup applies. Okay. Feet nice and close together, about a club head apart. Mm -hmm. Lean towards the target, centre point ahead of that golf ball. Yeah. Okay. Then from here, all right. As we take it back, we're trying to reduce the amount of um, hands and arms. Admittedly, we don't yeah. want to be too flicky. But if you stand from the front point of view, mm -hmm. okay, what you'll notice is I've got a nice Y shape. Yeah. Okay, in my shoulders and my arms, the extension of the golf club. As I take it back, I take it back fairly stiff, but there is a little bit of softness in my hands. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, sure. Don't take it back stiff. Okay. All right? So have a little bit of leverage in the wrists, okay? Just to be able to return the club back to its neutral position with a little bit of speed. Okay? okay? So that leverage, again, is trying to create that acceleration into the club yeah. head, uh, into the golf ball, should we say. All right? Now, as we strike, we hold that position. All right, so there will be a little bit of a turn, but not a massive amount, okay? So this swing is roughly around about eight till four okay. on the clock, yeah? yeah? So the club is now at six, we swing it back to around about eight, and we go through to about four. That's yeah. a give or take, that's just a sort of a guide. But it looks like you're a lot more in your hands than you are in, now, is that just because that was a practice swing? No, absolutely, that... it is very much, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm locking my left side out, Yeah. and then through. So okay. a lot more. Yeah hands then that arms rotation. absolutely yeah. yeah there is no rotation okay. very little yeah yeah because um, we're trying to control everything aren't we so okay. having having less movements you've got more chance of being in control of it okay. so from here okay a couple of practice things which we talked about mm -hmm. okay but as I'm coming through that was in the last video talk about practice swings a lot in the last video absolutely comes in a little bit flatter yeah. and then just hopefully releases out towards our target. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now, because we're doing less in the swing, there's less speed, isn't there? Yeah. So the ball isn't coming off as fast. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to create a lot of leverage, no. so the ball's gonna come in flatter. Yeah. But be, even though you're gonna strike it, there's gonna be quite a lot of spin. Mm -hmm. So first bounce is gonna be a little bit fiery, second bounce is grabbing it, and then the third one just releases out towards the target. Okay. All right. So I like to see this as like a 50-50 split. Okay. Trying to land the ball about 50% of the distance. Oh wow. And then releasing out. Is that is that the same even on this this type of grass? It's quite hard, yeah. Okay. Naturally if the grass is quite thick and fast then you'll probably use a slightly more lofty like, club. I'm thinking sort of like 75-25. Like I want to land it where that second golf ball is that's not on the green in the line from us. Okay, because it's a little bit uphill. Yeah. You know, that's fair enough. We, I have a feeling it's going to want to stop it because it's uphill yeah? yeah so therefore we can then change to sort of more of a gap wedge mm -hmm. and control it again yeah i was thinking 56 okay that's fine yeah yeah but again less effort more more control yeah so that's gone a little bit too far but it's yeah. uh you know so the 50 50 split would have been probably about right wouldn't it yeah that would yeah. have been that, that first golf ball then yeah well just just a little bit past it yeah yeah absolutely okay so keeping everything soft, keeping everything shallow. There you go, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, no, it's spot on. Little bit of bounce left to right, come on then, let's give it a go. Sorry, sir. Again, very similar to the um, full shot, or the, 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 just everything's very extended, isn't it? Yes. All right. Very. <clears throat> all right. So keep everything a little, little bit softer. Keep that left arm tighter to your body. That's it. Don't let your hands take over. I'm trying to keep the left arm tighter here. So you don't want to be flippy floppy with your hands. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of softness on the hands. Very little rotation. Closer. Well done. Good. So again, it's about momentum, you see, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than this sort of 
Extend your yeah, to sh shove, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm usually just sort of like, let's stab at it and yeah. trust my forearms and my wrists to, to get it there, yeah. So keep everything fairly shallow. A little bit of softness on the wrist and the takeaway. Not too much leverage, it's just, it's just take it away. That's better. Good. And the turn back square. That was much softer. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm going to have it, like, again, judging the actual distance. Careful not to rotate too much on this one here. We're not trying to do that. We're trying to return it back square. And then we're okay. just moving gently across our body. No, no. Don't. So if, I, if I find myself turning it too much, it's because I'm using too much forearms and wrists? Yeah, correct. So okay. as, as you're doing it, right? Yeah. When you return back to this position here, we hold yeah. it and it comes across our left thigh, if you like. Okay. All right. What yeah. we don't want is it turning over. Okay. Yeah. So that's no, no. And and once you once you strike, pull it across you, not out. No. Okay. Not out. So the club doesn't want to be in front of you. No. One okay. more time. Say that. Don't touch me. No. Stay what? Away. All right. So let's cop let's copy me. Yeah. All right. So we're setting the club. Should I hit the ball? All right. No. Okay. All right, yeah. so as we're pulling it through, we're squared. Yeah. Okay, good. Now watch my club face here. What's my club face like? That's there, right, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah? Well, you don't want it turning over. You just try to, I saw it in your, I saw it in your eyes. So you're holding it, holding, holding the shot, holding it so off slow. Like, so that's the thing is? Leverage. Leverage, but like, so this is like starting position, finishing position, and then figuring out how to get from one to the other, yeah. right? Your finishing position is in a much more of like a tilted spine angle. No. Like C C shape. I'm turning. I'm not okay. going. I'm not going underneath. So I still That's it there. That's it. There you go. Okay. So is everything going across your left pocket? I still want to finish on, like 100% on my left foot. Oh yeah, de definitely no weight on the back side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'm doing. I think I'm sort of doing. I'm still keeping sort of between 40 and 20% on my right. Yeah. No. Did you execute a little bit of weight? A bit of this. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. One video you've seen, I take it. The old instructors, well, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Keep that on film. That one will stay on film, though. Because all my other shots have been perfect. A little bit, of, a little, little bit of deceleration, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit of leverage, tiny little bit of softness, and then just pull it across your left side. That's better. Okay. Club face, you say, just turn over a little bit. Look. Yeah, I finished here yeah. instead of... That's it. So you, as, as you're returning back to impact, you see, all you're trying to do is hold that impact position. Yeah. And then we turn it through. I'm so used to doing that with my hands. Yeah, and that's what we've got to try to cut out. Yeah. So, so, because I'm so athletic. Softness. Yeah. Softness. Such, such great hand-eye coordination. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Weight loss video, that's coming up soon. <laughs> okay, then. Ugh. Nice. Right, okay. Just bring your arms into your body a bit and that would have been lovely. Okay. Okay, so you got the angle there, lovely. Yeah. But it wasn't, it just wasn't in. No, and I'm, to be fair, I'm actually getting more power than I am from just my forearms and my wrists. Because you're... I have to dial, like what I would normally hit this distance, I'm finding I have to dial back a lot. Because everything was very sort of... Yeah. Yeah. So you're probably trying to create that softness in the wrists on the backswing. So a bit... Flippy there. Yeah. But it's something to work with. It gives you a chance. It's not going to happen in 50 balls, is it? No, no, no. Right, now right. that I've got the, like, I think the biggest thing is, is softening my hands and, like, getting rid of this tension. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So. Nice soft grip pressure. That's it. Okay. But as you strike, turn through. Closer. Have a look at the club face. Ah. That's it. So, okay. Face, face the camera. Oh, well, do this down this line here. Yeah. Okay. Demonstrate where... That way. Okay, not. Is that okay? So I'm not. This is what I want. This is the question I have. Am I finishing? I'm, you're saying I'm pushing my arms too far out. Uh, correct, and rotating. Okay. And I'm rotating too far. No, the hands and the arms are rotating. But is my body rotating too far? No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, that's that, that's that's just that's just a. That's another argument down the line, isn't it? You know about yeah. how much you do and don't turn. You know, yeah. but as well, a I, the thing is, I, I feel like I'm not turning enough, and I'm using my arms to overcompensate for that. Because the speed is coming from the leverage into the ball. Yeah. And once you create that movement there, as you strike, you have to keep the momentum together. What you yeah. don't do is let the club take over. I almost feel like I like because I'm so used to using my forearms, I accelerate through the ball. Absolutely. Instead of 
but the speed is the, the control is from here yeah. uh, from the heart of course yeah but from here but from so as you as you strike boom it all turns together this what? is why you get, if you have more of this you get more speed because this is where the power comes from absolutely yeah. all, right. all right give me another ball let's see if i can let's see if i can finish oh that's fine let's go it's a different it's a different spot assess it differently I, so I feel like this is okay. I'll hit this and then I'll I'll see if it's that wasn't too bad. Okay, mm -hmm. just just got a bit shy in the leverage there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I was trying because I feel like if I get the leverage, I then feel like I've got to return my hands and when I return, that's so that's the part I'm struggling. With. Yeah, I'm struggling with. Of course, and that's when gonna, I get that's... the leverage, I'm so used to then. Almost like a tennis. Yeah, no, that's, it's going to take time, you know. But if you can get the basic understanding, yeah, those faults that you have, yeah. will be exaggerated. Yeah. Okay, and then we can work out why. So as okay. long as you've got that little bit of leverage, yeah, strike into the ball. Yep. And then the coil. Cool beans. Good lesson. Thank you. Well done, guys. See you soon. Thanks for spending our time with uh, with Foxy. Foxy, thank you for the lesson. Check out the Swingdom podcast, Spotify, Apple iTunes. If you're watching the YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. All these buttons, just smash them until they go away. And um, and yeah, we're trying. We're gonna do this weekly. Let's hope so. So you'll get another lesson with Foxy in a week, unless he goes, you know, on vacation to the Masters. Yeah. Thanks, Foxy. Pleasure. Yeah. You've been watching the Sweetdom. Give us a thumbs up. Smash subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications.